Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to be looking at how we can dump a VBIOS from a primary or a secondary GPU in an unraid server without having to move it to another slot, without doing any command line work or no hex editing. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. Okay, so there's loads of us who run an Unraid server and like to run VMs. And for the best experience doing that, it's always best to pass through a GPU. But sometimes when we try to do this and we run the VM, the screen just goes blank and we've got nothing on the screen but a black screen. And when this happens, it's normally because we need to pass through the VBIOS for the graphics card as well. And you'll find if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, this will pretty much always happen if you've got the NVIDIA graphics card as the primary or only GPU in the server. Now, it's always been a little tricky to dump a VBIOS in Linux. It involves using the command line, and until now, it's been very difficult to dump a VBIOS from the primary GPU slot. So, well, it must be a few years ago now. To get around this, I made a video showing how to edit a VBIOS that's been dumped by GPU-Z on Windows and downloaded from somewhere such as Tech Power Up. And this involved using hex editors and as well, it could be a little bit tricky. So it's almost 2021 now, so it's about time that this whole process should really be a lot easier. So recently, I've been working on a little project to make a script that will automate the whole process and dump the VBIOS from any GPU in your server. Doesn't matter what slot it's in, whether it's primary, secondary, whatever, it will do anything. Okay, so let's take a look at the script and dump some VBIOSes. Okay, so here I am on my Unraid server. And over at the VMs tab, you can see here that I've only got one GPU in this server. So we're going to dump the VBIOS for this RTX 2080 Ti. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is go across to the Apps tab here. And if you don't have it, download a plugin called user scripts. So click on the little arrow to download that. And so once the user script plugin's installed, we just have to go across to settings, go down to the bottom of the page and click onto user scripts. Now you can see I've got a few other scripts here, but what we want to do is to click on to add new script and give it a name. And now you're going to need to head across to my GitHub page, which you'll find the link to in the description of this video. And click on here where it says dump vbios.sh and go across to this button here where it says raw, click that, and then copy all of this text, and now go back across to the user script page, and then click on the user script name, go to edit script, and paste all the contents in here. Just go up to the top and check you've got this line here that says bin bash, and it's only there once, and now click on save changes, and now we want to run the script. Now it's normal to get this error here, saying this is not a valid PCI device, please correct the ID and rerun the script. And we can see here the script shows us all of the GPUs that it can see in our server. And the ID of the GPU is this first little block of characters at the beginning. So let's copy that and go back to our script and go to edit script again. And at the top here, you'll see it says GPU ID equals, and then you'll see some crosses inside some quotations. Well, let's paste the ID of the GPU in between the quotations. And here we can name the VBIOS. So I'm just going to call mine RTX 2080 Ti. And we can leave everything else as default. But if you didn't want the VBIOS to be dumped into this location here, which is into the ISO share into a folder called VBIOS, then you could change the location here. So with that done, I'm going to click on to save changes. Now before running the script, I know this is a primary GPU, so the script is actually going to put the server to sleep for a few seconds and then restart it to enable the VBIOS to be dumped from the primary GPU. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to settings here. And I'm just gonna stop the Docker service just so no containers are running in the background. Otherwise, when you put the server to sleep, if there's a whole bunch of containers running, it can take a while and cause a problem. So make sure all your containers are stopped and obviously there's no VMs running as well. And then go back to the script and click run script. 
Okay, so you can see here the script is actually creating a temporary VM, passing the GPU through, trying to unlock it. It's checked here that the VBIOS wasn't quite correct and it realizes that this is a primary GPU, so now it's put the server to sleep. It's disconnected the graphics card and now it's telling me to press the power button on the server to continue. So I'm going to go and do that now. And so now when the server wakes up, it will reconnect the graphics card and then try and dump the VBIOS again. Okay, so we can see that's done. It says everything's correct and it's put the VBIOS into this default location here in the ISO share. So let's have a look at that now. And if we go and open up the ISO share here and into the folder called VBIOS, we can see here the VBIOS has been dumped into this folder. So now if I go back to the VMs tab, go to my Windows gaming machine here, and then here underneath graphics card where it says graphics ROM BIOS, I'm just going to click on and browse to that file and attach that to the VM, click update, and now I can go and start this VM and the graphics card will pass through absolutely fine. Okay, so the server's now got another graphics card in it. It's got this NVIDIA GeForce GT710 in here. So let's go back to our script. And now I'm going to edit the script again. And I'm just going to put a bunch of crosses in for the GPU ID. And run the script. Now the reason I put the bunch of crosses in is so it would list my GPUs again and say it's an invalid PCI. So Here's the GT710 and here's its ID. So I'm going to copy that and go back to the script and change the GPU ID. And also I'm going to change the name of the VBIOS. I'm just going to put GT710 and click on to save. And now I'm going to run the script again. Okay, so it's starting to do the process. Okay, and now you see it's actually had an error. You can see here there's an input output error and the script suggests that we bind this GPU to the VFIO. And because I'm on RAID 6.9, I can do that by going to Tools, System Devices, and then find the GPU that I'm passing through. And it's here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the VGA and audio part of the card here and click on to bind selected to VFIO at boot. And on Unraid 6.3, we need to use the VFIO config plugin, which we can download from community applications. And here we can bind devices to the VFIO. After binding the GPU, we need to reboot the server. So let's do that and come back in a moment. Okay, so the server's rebooted. So let's go back to the script and run it again. Okay, so it's going through the process again. Okay, and this time it says everything's correct and the VBIOS has been put into the ISO share. So let's have a quick look at that again. Okay, and so there's the GT710's VBIOS there and there's both of the GPUs that are in my server. Now we won't always get errors when we're dumping a secondary GPU. If I go to the script again now and run the script, I've put the graphics cards in the other way around. The GT710 is primary and the 2080 Ti is secondary. So I'm going to copy the ID here and I'm going to edit the script. And I'm going to paste the ID in here. Now I've put some safety things into the script. So if there happen to be some spaces after or before the GPU ID, it doesn't matter. The script will see that and fix it for you. And also this time I'm not going to name the VBIOS. So if you forget to name it, the script will try and make a name based on the GPU. But really it's better to always name it yourself just in case the script makes a little mistake. So I'm going to click Save Changes and I'm going to run the script. Okay, so it's all done. And it's dumped the VBIOS here, auto naming it GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Revision A. We should see that in the ISO share in VBIOS. And there we have it there. Now, another thing that the script's got is it has got some features. So to try and stop you dumping something you shouldn't. So for instance, if I go to tools and system devices and I pick the ID of this SATA controller here and go back over to the script and then try and put that in as the GPU ID. Then when I run the script, it will warn me 
it says that it looks like a SATA controller and then tells me the actual proper GPUs in the server that I could dump. So it's pretty hard to do something wrong. I've tried to make the script as user friendly as possible. Now obviously I'm sure there'll be some servers and some GPUs that just won't dump the VBIOS. Obviously I'm pretty limited on the amount of systems I can test this on but the ones I have tested it on it's worked on all of them fine. Well that's all I've got and it brings us to the end of the video. Now it's Christmas Eve so I want to wish all of you guys out there, all of the people that watch my videos, a really Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year for next year. As always to all of my Patreons and supporters, thank you so much guys for your support and enabling me to make these videos. And if anyone wants to join these great bunch of people then please find links in the description below for how you can support the channel. Anyway guys it's time for me to go now but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.